Hey everybody, it's me Brian Keith and I'm back with another video. So today we'll be talking about a few topics that I saw run around the blogs and that came up on my feed on Instagram. So do something for me, like, comment, subscribe, and join the family. It's really easy. Just click that button right down there. Just that's all you gotta do. Just click that little button and enjoy the family. Yeah. Let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire. Come out, I'm a famous lips. You wanna play with me? You can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it. One is secure in the bag. Alright, so in R H O P world, we're gonna be first of all, don't mind. I just left the gym, got my protein shake. So in R H O P world, the drama that just came out is Candace and Giselle unfollowed each other. And it's basically saying allegedly that Giselle was going around basically just saying that um Chris did something inappropriate to her at the reunion last year. You already know Giselle's gonna start some mess. I'm not really here for Giselle. She's not really my type of person, my type of girl, but she is needed for the show. I really feel like Giselle starts the mess, keeps the mess going, and she does what she has to do. Like but I do feel like Candace is, the, is that girl. Like, no matter what people say, like Candace is the one that people are love to hate or love to love. I love Candace, so I mean, people just hate her for no reason. Um, I just hope that this doesn't get dragged out. It'd be the whole season. Anybody got time? I feel like Ashley ain't got no babies. Oh, uh, she planned to have more babies, so she's about to be in the mess. Um, Candace is a, regardless. She's going to be the topic of discussion, as Phaedra would say. She's going to be the topic of discussion no matter what. And then Mia is, she's back, messy as ever. Um, it said that um, Mia stated that she does not have cancer, but she's going to do a biopsy on the lumps that she found. And hopefully everything goes well with Mia. Um, you know, praises, blessings to her. Um, Giselle, who else we got? We got Karen and her two episode show. I don't really see why they even gave her a show there's really no point for especially for two episodes what's the point who knows but i mean i guess if you like it i love it um well i'll, I'll watch the first episode i'll watch the first episode but i don't think that <laughs> what's the point you know i i know there's karen's fans out there everybody go up for karen so don't hate me in the comments everybody go up for karen's and karen but i'm like what's the point you know, so I was looking on the blogs. I was looking on the blogs, and um, it seemed like Katie from season one. I think she was a friend on season what three, four, and she begging him to come back on the show. I'm just like, girl, at this point, like, why are we, why are we begging? Like, I get it. Like, them check Real Housewife checks are some serious, but what's the point to beg? Like, you know, I really asked for my job. And then you go back Andy. Like, I get Andy has a lot of power. But I'm like, I don't think he's the one casting. I think it's truly original. But, I mean, do what you got to do, Teddy. Um, Love and Marriage DC. Now, I was not here for Love and Marriage DC. Um, I do watch Love and Marriage Hunts Huntsville. But I was not here for Love and Marriage DC. I, I just feel like Monique and her husband were born. I feel like I don't think they bring anything. I feel like her husband didn't have a personality. I feel like I feel like she's going to be very self-aware and very um, what's the word? Um, she's not going to want to be able to engage. She wants to be the grand dame of DC, I guess, and just try to fly above. I feel like she's going to be like not really trying to engage with the girls because they already know what happened last time. <laughs> but da, 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 da. And I got time. But watching the trailer, I was like, you know what? I can give this a shot. It'll look very entertaining. Maybe I can learn a little bit more about their life and um, their family dynamic and a little bit more about Chris to see if he has a personality or not. But, I mean, we'll see. I, I'm really excited to see what she brings. But, you know, it's only a matter of time. Let's see what else is going on um, in our HOP world. Um, they are. They started filming. It seemed like Karen and and <laughs> who was it? Karen and um, Candace. It seemed like it seemed like this is definitely gonna be a Candace takedown again. They tried to take down Candace last season. They tried to take down Candace and Moni. It was a duel. They tried to take down Candace in the beginning of season five, and then 
I mean, Monique gave them what they wanted, and they took down Monique for the rest of that. So I feel like I really, really, really hope that this season gives something more. I What I want from this season is I want Giselle versus Robin. Robin needs to come out of Giselle's shadow and really have a voice of her own. Because at this point, people are even going to say, I like Robin. But why is she on the show? Why is she here? Like, I, we don't even know because, like, at the point, like, Robin don't do nothing besides cosign. I think the only thing that gave, that Robin gave us last season was like her marital issues and then like rubbing her vagina during the argument with Wendy. Like, it really wasn't giving nothing. I feel like Ascala gave at least fashion, so she gave us a little bit more than what Robin could even give. So, <sighs> ciao. Let's see what else. I did see a scholar at um, the party that they were hosting up in D.C. And Sharice was there as well. I hope Sharice comes back. We've seen some new faces. So I hope they, I hope we have new cast members. And then I hope some old cast members come back. Besides KB. So. <laughs> um, let's hop on over to RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 7. All right, so RuPaul's Drag Race on um, season fourteen hasn't even ended yet, but All Stars has just the promo just came out and the show's gonna start on May twentieth, and it's the all winter seasons eight queens. So we have Jada Essence Hall, we have Jinx Monsoon, we have Monet Exchange, Raja, Shakule, Trixie, um, Trinity Tuck. And the Vivian and Eviali. When I think of like an all winter season, would I put these queens together? Like I said, RuPaul's Drag Race is so produced and it's just irritating because you, it's either predictable or the storyline, you could pick up on the storylines, it's so, it's so stupid. But, my top four as of right now is Monet Exchange, Raja, Shea Coule, and Ibiadi. So, um, I like the Vivian. Like the Vivian on on her season. Did not like Trinity on at all. Jinx, I would I wouldn't imagine Jinx one. And Jada, I mean, I thought Gigi Good was gonna win, but you know. So, I mean, I'm excited to see what these queens are going to bring, but I mean, it's RuPaul's Drag Race, the Rig Reef, and Fugaziness. That's all it's going to be. You already know what they get. It's the same thing all over and over and over. All right. Let me look and see if anything goes along the blogs, child. Uh, Garcelle and Erica, it seemed like there is <laughs> a button feud going on. I don't really know what Erica thinks she's trying to do, but it really is not working. I really don't know what she's... Everything she's doing is backfiring in Garcelle's favor. I do, however, however think that when she, Garcelle went on Watch What Happens Live, baby girl had a little bit too much to drink. So she was over here just speaking her truth. Uh, she had, I think, um, Brandon Glanville spoke out and tweeted something as she always does and you know she said what she had to say and she got mad at Garcelle because Garcelle was was she a housewife like you gotta realize that not all these women look at the show so it's just like girl you really want that girl anyway but hey okay. um but I really feel like Erica at this point like girl worry about your legal woes worry about worry about giving the victims their money because like like she says y'all worry about the victims they wouldn't be victims if they didn't have nothing to big <laughs> No, I don't swear. No, but I'm just like, she is so weird. Like, you promoted her book, Three Part Long. And just like, I'm, I'm just ready. Like, Garcelle, let the gloves, take the gloves off and do what you have to do and let her know what what's up. Because at this point, they should have did. They should have did what they had to do. If if 
Erica was on any other season, it could be New York, it could be in um, New Jersey, Atlanta, Potomac, they would have ran her through the mud with this legal situation. So I'm just like, why are y'all giving her such a pass and trying to be so gracious when it's like, y'all took that Lisa Vanderpump for, for a puppy. Like, at the end of the day, I'm excited to see what is going to happen. Um, again, um, thank you for my, thank you for y'all listening. Like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.